Hello and welcome back to Presenter Media. My name is Kara. Today we're taking a look at our crossword toolkit. This is available on presentermedia.com. What you see in the background here is the first slide of the crossword. What you can do is change each of these tabs to reflect whatever letters you like. We do have a couple various sizes available for you to work with. We have a 5x5, five five, a 10x10, and even a 15 by 15 depending on how large of a crossword you want to end up going with for the here. We're going to use the white 5x5 five five section as our example. Let's go ahead and get rid of this arrow. Now for the words that we're going to choose, we'll just select house, so we'll type in an H when we click on the first letter, O when we click on the next, and so on and so forth. Now if we do have other areas that we want to be able to fill in, we'll say your, let's grab the right box here, there we go, say how your house. and sell. Alright, so we have all of these letters in here. Now we do have the other blocks that we don't need, so you can go ahead and actually just click on those blocks and hit the delete key on your keyboard. Alright, now we have the remaining tiles. You can see that they do have a little bit of reflection set up on them. You can change this by going to the Drawing Tools, Format, and Shape Effects, and changing the amount of reflection. It's automatically selected to be one of the farther selections down, but you can make it a lot more subtle by selecting one of the higher up options. To repeat formatting, or to make the same thing happen on each tile, you can click on the tile and hit F4 on your keyboard after you did it with the first tile. So this is how you can use the crossword toolkit to be able to build your own crossword. Something else that is interesting is that you can actually use this to do a word search. So hypothetically speaking, if you had a word, we'll say it's four letters long, and you wanted to be able to have those four tiles be revealed, you can actually have them have an animation, which is an emphasis effect, and you would either want to use a complementary color, darken, or lighten. Lighten's a nice way to be able to make them stand out, so we'll go ahead and change them to that. Now, if we do have these various letters put in here, we can go ahead and have these four letters appear when you hit the word four, which is going to be a trigger effect. The word four is actually a text box. It's text box number one. So we'll go ahead and get rid of the animation for that and we'll play the presentation. Now you're not going to see quite the whole presentation, but you can see the letters that we have in the middle here. When you click on the word for, you'll see how those actually end up lightening up and are able to be seen. You can have them get darker again if you just apply a secondary trigger effect to them. So if you click the four and they light up, you can have it reset by having a reset button off to the side. This has been a demonstration of what you can do using our Create Your Crossword Toolkit here at Presenter Media. Again, my name is Kara, and thanks for watching.